Welcome to this video. This video will show you how to create a vacuum pad to hold your work on. As you can see here, it has an O-ring, it has a support, and it has two holes for the T-slots, and it also has a vacuum input. If you watch this video where I got this uh, from, it would look like a good project for me to try to make with my Shapes Plus program. Uh, I will show you how to do that in uh, Shapes Plus. So uh, I'll leave a description in the video where you, um, in the video below the video where you can find this uh, video. It's a very good video to watch. It goes from this from his CAM program to machining it. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to move this out of the way. I have a, a list of the uh, dimension I used to uh, create my pot. I'm going to make mine a little different. I'm going to leave the mounting holes out since I don't know where, what machine I'm going to use it on yet. But I want to make one to uh, try out myself. So, uh, with little to do, let's go continue. So, the first thing you do is you would click on shapes. All right, you have a pot size. The pot size was the outline of that pot that was shown and it has a quarter inch radius. So, clicking on this, uh, my uh, pot size was four inches. Yours can be anything. Uh, so, we'll just put four inches in there and the radius was a quarter inch 250 and no holes without holes okay so that done we made the pot size uh, the next step would be to make uh, squares there's two squares for the o-ring okay so that's what we're going to do now we're going to make the squares for the o-ring so uh, on my cheat sheet I got uh, the dimensions here as uh, 3 and 5 eighths or 3 3.625 okay and uh, since I made mine 4 inches the sentence would be 2 inches by 2 inches Two inches, okay. Everything's correct. Enter. Do another square. The next one is three and three eighths. Three point three seven five. Three point three seven five. The sentence is the same. Okay. The next square is three and an eighth. So three point one two five. Three point one two five. Centers are the same. Enter. Okay, now the next square is where the vacuum uh, is going to come in. It's another pocket. There's uh, uh, two pockets in this. Uh, program so with so all you got to do now is add another square at uh, one so it's going to be uh, one inch long uh, and the width is going to be three uh, oh two oh point two nine one two Twenty nine twelve. Double check that. That's not right. That's not. Oh yes, it is right. The center is what I got to change. Okay, the center is two. I got to change y to uh, zero point five nine uh, three seven. Okay. Let's double check it. 
uh, one inch 029 to uh, 0912. That's correct. Okay, enter. Now the next thing is a, a, a oblong shape. The oblong shape, I'm going to do four of them. Two horizontal and two verticals. I'm leaving the center uh, part out. On the other one, he's got the center all one piece. So I'm leaving that out. It'll be more vacuum, and it'll also still have the same support. So to, to do it, we have to add uh, the oblong length is one inch. The width is 250, 0 0.25. The offset length is the difference between those two, which is uh, point seven five. I'll put the zero in. Oh, oh point seven five. Okay. Now the center. Now, depending on which one I'm going to do first, I think I'll do the verticals first. So that is, the center is going to be 2. 2, and this is going to be 2 and 3 quarters. 2.75. Double check. Everything looks okay. Vertical. Okay, one more vertical. Change the center distance to two, and this will be one and a quarter. Uh, same, double check. Centers, okay, that's correct. Vertical. Now, next one's two horizontals. Change the center distance. Uh, one, one and a quarter, and what's the other one? Two. That's correct. One more, and the pot is complete, except for the mounting holes. Okay, the next center is two and three quarters. And uh, two inches, two inches on the Y. Okay. Okay, done. Click that, close, create the DXF, and Let's open it in uh, Etzel Cam. This is Etzel Cam. I'm going to shrink it down a little bit so you can see what how it comes out. I hope I did this correctly. Uh, I got to find my drawing. Oh, I got to I got to open this. Uh, it's part DXF on desktop. It's an inch. It was drawn an inch. It could have been drawn in millimeters. Oh, there it is. Looks like I did it correctly. So from this point, uh, it's time consuming. If you watch his video, he'll show you how to do this. So that's how you can make a part from... Shapes Plus to Etzel Cam or CAD to 2D or CAM BAM. Thanks for watching this video.